Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how I like to do navigation in React Native. And my favorite library is the React Router library. You can use this with regular React and you can also use it with React Native. Now, if you can follow you can follow along with your own uh, React Native app or I'm going to be using the Create React Native app boilerplate. So if you want to follow along, you can go ahead and install this and I'll put a link in the description below. So I went ahead and already uh, created a project using that boilerplate. And then I just in a tab ran uh, yarn run iOS. Um, and then it started up this iOS emulator. And then you should see um, this a bunch of junk. You might not see all this yellow, but it should start up and then an emulator. You can also do yarn run Android um, if you want to do the Android emulator. Okay. Uh, next thing, I just have app.js open, and we're just going to start from here. So first thing, we need to install that library. So I'm just going to do uh, yarn add uh, React Router native, and that's the only package we're going to need. And right here, we can see this is our application. And what uh, the navigation or this library is trying to do or help with is multiple screens in your React Native application and transitioning between those pages. So what I'm going to do is just in the root of this project create a new file called home.js and this is just going to be basically my component for the home page. So I'm just going to import react from react and then create like a little component here that I'd like uh, to be rendered as one of the pages as the home page. So I'm going to get this from react native and I'm going to do a view, text, and a button. And I'm going to export default. I'm going to use a functional component here. And I'm going to say view. And I'm going to say just render a text. Um, and then say this is the home page. And I'm also going to have a button. Um, and it's just going to have the text, um, and I think it's title, change page. And for now, we're going to have the on press be just a dummy function, but we're going to fill in what this is going to be later. So I could just render my home component over here if I wanted to. And I'm just going to import it at the top from my app.js. So import home from dot slash home. Um, and we can see this is the home page. And then I can click this button to change pages. So this is well and good. But what happens if I want to introduce a second page? So I'm going to call this um, page two. Or you know what? Let's give it a better name. I'm going to call this the products. And maybe this will be like a list of products. And I can pretty much copy what I have at home and render something similar over here. And I'm going to say this is the products page. Um, or maybe we just have like a list of products. So product one, product two. And then when I click on this button, I like to change pages. So now I, what I want to do is I want to conditionally render the home and the products page. And I want to be able to switch between them. So this is where we're going to introduce um, React Native Router. So I'm going to import stuff from that. So React Native, or React Router Native, sorry. And then there's three things we're going to be using. Native Router, Switch, and Route. So Native Router is what you need to wrap your application with. So I am going to do Native Router. Native router. Now it's very important that native router only has one child. And you might get an error talking about how it has multiple childs if you mess this up. And what that means is see how there's only one tag right here underneath it? If I were to add another tag, let's see if we can sh we can show you that error. Um, here it says a router may only have one child. So now I have two childs uh, or children. I have one here and one here. So make sure when you're doing this, you only have one. 
So here I just have a view with the styles for the container and that's going to basically, these styles are going to be on every single page um, because I did this. Now if I wanted to I could remove the style but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. So next I'm going to create a switch. This makes sure only one page is rendered. So this is an optional component. Um, I like it because it makes sure, again, only one is rendered and that's what I want. And uh, I believe this, you can only have one child too, but we're about to find out. So I'm gonna add now a route. So for each screen that you want in your application, you're gonna create a route. So you need to specify the path and the component for your route. So the component means, uh, what would you like to render on the screen? Well, I'd like to render the home screen. And then the path is um, the location. So this is basically like a keyword, a name, um, and this actually maps to basically how it would work in a browser. So the home screen or the first route that is rendered is just slash. So if I say path is equal to slash, that means this element will be rendered. And I'm gonna just say exact, and I'll talk about what exact does in a second. Okay, so we now have both of these. Um, what if I want another route? Well, I just add it, and maybe the path of this will be like slash products, and my component is going to be products. So we have products imported here. I have now two routes, um, slash products and slash home. So you'll notice that right now the home page is being rendered. If I were to uh, change these and like add something here, um, you'll notice now the products page is rendering. So whatever um, path has the slash in it is going to be rendered um, because that's the default one. So how would you, for example, change pages to slash products, right? Well, notice how we have uh, made home a component. So now what we can do is if we hop on over here, one of the props that we get is called history. So this is a function that we can now call. So I can say history.push. And what you want to do is you want to say slash and then where you want to go. So I would like to go to the products page. And you'll notice that slash products, if we look over here, matches the path here. So that's how we know what uh, route or what screen we're going to go to next. So here's the home page. If I click on this button, you'll notice um, it called, I um, pressed it, it called history.push, and then we went to the products page. And now I can see my products. And we can do the same thing on the products page. So here I can add a history. And now I can say history.push, and I'd like to go to the home page. Um, which is currently at slash. So change page. And notice I can just click this and I can toggle in between the two pages now. Okay, so that's how you can basically change to any route that you want to. You call the history.push function and then you put a slash there. Um, and that is basically the basics of um, setting up your screens and then transitioning between them uh, just by calling that function. And um, let's talk about exact. I wanna see if I can uh, get this to work. So notice how we're on the products page. Um, if I didn't make this exact, um, what should happen is this will render anytime uh, we have a slash. So if I change page, notice how nothing happens. And that's because there is currently a slash in products, right? That means it's mapping to it. And if I were to get rid of switch, we would see both of them render, I believe. So notice how we have this home page and the product page. Both of these are being rendered. And the reason for that is because it matches the path of both of them. So the current path is slash products and um, this maps to it. But if we use the keyword exact, now it makes sure only to render um, exactly what page that we're on. And then if you add the switch component, that makes sure only one of them is ever rendered. And it's whatever, which one um, matches first. So this one matched first, and that's why. And so you actually don't need the switch if you don't want to. Uh, just make sure only one gets rendered. 
So yeah, that's the basics of using uh, React Router Native. Um, I'm gonna do another video tomorrow uh, going into some more advanced usages and uh, some other cool things you can do with it. But uh, let me know in the comments below too what some things you've struggled with with this library in React uh, Native and uh, I'll get to those and hopefully answer them.